nine. Ignition sequence start. Six. Hello, my name is Colin Campbell. I'm with Polygon. You're looking at the long journey home, a game that offers a rich vision of space exploration. I played it recently. Let's find out what it's all about. Space exploration games have been with us since the very first days of gaming. You might remember the likes of Star Control 2, uh, which is still recalled with much fondness. The long journey home continues this tradition of massive, procedurally generated galaxies populated by different kinds of alien races. I played it recently and I found it to be a highly promising game about exploration, trading, upgrading and very occasionally fighting. It's developed by the Dalek, I'm not even sure if I said that right, a German company best known for narrative adventures. The Long Journey Home isn't just about resource and upgrade systems, it's also a story in which a team of four members are lost in space and they're trying to get back home. The player chooses from a roster of ten and each has their own personality, quirks and specialties. I haven't studied them in detail but from what I've seen they seem like a varied and diverse bunch which allows for experimentation on different playthroughs. The game begins with a space exploration mission that goes awry, throwing the team into the far nethers of creation. Physical gameplay consists of navigating through star systems, making use of planetary gravitational slingshots to inch closer and closer to home. Planets are discovered, explored and mined for resources. As in many such games, these planets have personalities of their own, offering different opportunities, dangers and environments. Some yield useful or tradable artefacts. Planetary exploration is conducted by a single chosen crew member who drops down in a lander style pod. Depending on the crew member who discovers the artefacts, different outcomes can occur. So one might favour scrapping the item for its raw materials, while another will see value of saving it for a later trade. Resources like gas, minerals, and metals are used to repair and upgrade the ship's systems and to travel onwards. These uh, resources come in different bands of value. The ship can take damage when, for example, the player is negotiating asteroid fields. The crew's health must also be maintained as accidents can happen in missions. Alien races are encountered in transit or in space stations where they can be wooed via on-screen communications. A dialogue system using basic words and phrases makes use of the potential to trade and barter. Sometimes these aliens can be persuaded to part with useful maps that help to show the most efficient way forward. You'll always see where Earth is and how far you have to go to get there. And different galaxies have different kind of personalities and different types of uh, resources and planets. Other aliens uh, will offer optional quests that confer useful items, but there's sometimes a downside with these quests. Because generally, uh, the demeanour of these aliens is something to be discovered and exploited, just like a planet. Alien relationships with one another are a fact to be considered. So this leads to some tough choices about who to chum up to and who to avoid. So if you start doing favours for one alien race, you may find this favour with another. On the whole, aliens won't automatically see humans as a threat, more a sort of mildly uh, interesting curiosity. So it's up to the player to avoid cultural errors that can lead to conflict. And here you can see uh, the interface for dealing with those aliens. But space is also home to various scumbags, and you'll find crooked customs officials and pirates along the way. So there are occasions when combat is unavoidable. Battles take place in Age of Sail style dodge and manoeuvres with gunports sta stationed on ship broadsides. But the costing damage makes combat something to be avoided where possible. The Long Journey Home is currently in beta. Uh, it launches fully at the end of this month with PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions to follow. You can find out more on Polygon.